Hi, and welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Uh, we have concluded Unit 1, Business and its Environment, uh, under the AS chapters. All right. And now we are moving in Unit 2, which is, which is uh, People and Organizations. All right. And we'll kick off with Chapter 8, which talks about management and leadership. All right. And the sub uh, unit that we're going to look at today is Functions of Management. And uh, without wasting any more time, let's begin. So if you plan to open up a business or an organization or a company, you will need people to work in your company, right? And most importantly, you need to have capable managers or people to actually help um, run the whole show for you, right? So what do managers do? They come into various categories or the functions of a manager, which is basically setting objectives, organizing resources, directing and motivate, coordinating activities, as well as controlling and measuring performance, right? So there are one, two, three, four, five functions of a manager or the management functions that a manager does on a daily basis in a particular company, right? Now, let's move on. Now, for us to have a really effective time trying to understand the functions of a manager, I have somewhat prepared for you uh, the various explanation for each functions of managers right on your left hand side you will see the explanation of each uh, function right somehow it is not really matched to the uh, categories on your right hand side okay therefore your job right now as I will give you some time to do this is to actually match the functions to the explanation for each function all right so basically matching what is on your right to your left okay so I'll leave you some time for you to try it out on your own before we uh, try to get the answers further in the next slide Okay, so let's check on your answers, right? So these are the functions of a manager or management functions. The first one, deciding on what to achieve, that falls under the category of setting objectives. A manager would need to first decide on what they want to achieve before they start implementing anything. So a management function is also to look at deciding what the company is going to achieve, what are the goals that the company is trying to reach, and perhaps set a timeline as well of when to achieve it. All right. Secondly, a manager's function is also to organize resources. If you remember the word resources that we studied previously in terms of factors of production, we spoke about land, labor, capital, etc. Right. So basically, a manager not only needs to decide on what to achieve, but ensure that they have the right amount of resources needed to achieve that particular objective. Right. Third. Uh, objective or a function would be to direct and to motivate employees, right? So managers not only look at deciding what to achieve, ensuring there's enough resources, but also to ensure that people or all employees are engaged and motivated towards achieving the objectives. Because if you have the resources and you know what to do, but you have people who do not know what to do because you do not know how to, di to direct them or to because they have a very low or poor motivation levels, this would uh, impact the objectives from reaching it. Okay, And the next one, 
coordinate activities. A manager will also need to look out uh, on how to plan out the activities that they're going to execute, what goes first, second and third, in order to ensure that the main objectives is achieved. And finally, a manager's function is also to control and to measure performance. Now you have a good plan, everyone is working on it, but you've got to make sure that everyone is on track, all right? keeping track of progress of the work and also to measure each and every employee's performance all right? to ensure that they are reaching the goal or to identify if some workers are being left behind because you're not too sure with what to do. How would you know all these things if we do not measure their performance to ensure that the objectives are achieved? So there you go. You have five functions of management with all of their explanation. I hope you've got them all right. If you have not, do not worry. Try them again and then, uh, yeah, you will get there. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, so this is somewhat the last slide of our presentation and we're going to look at what we have covered today. You were able to identify the various functions of management and you were able to explain the various functions of management. So bear in mind, students, that it's not only about identifying and listing what you know, but explaining to show your understanding about what you know really, really matters. So if you feel that you've been, you feel a bit lost or not being able to cope or understand what you're going through, don't worry. You can re-watch the video again. At the same time, please bear in mind that you still need your materials, right? Your textbooks, your notes, your lectures from class to help you answer the question or to help you understand better. And this is the end of the class for today. If you have any concerns or questions, you see my email address on the slide. Please feel free to drop me an email and um, I hope you're able to pick up something from today's class. Until I see you in the next video, have a great, great day.